what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel on today's episode I'm going to be going over the build progress of the K5 Blazer uh, I got a lot of the interior work done I ended up switching the motor out I had the SSD scale motor in there I ended up putting the Mr. Comedies small block Chevy uh, scale motor in I fully disassembled it I painted every part reassembled it glued it together and installed it in the truck ended up going with the RC four-wheel drive inner fenders um, I got a lot of motor detail work still to do now that I have everything situated and where I want um, the interior I have I like to do a few other odds and ends like seat belts and a uh, couple scale accessories you know you gotta have your scale stuff in the scale rigs and uh, I'm also going to be showing you guys the next project of the channel and I will go over that here in a little bit let's jump into the blazer and show you guys what I have done to it goal for our next project um, is I'm going to be taking my popular 124 scale and I'm going to be almost replicating it into a 110 scale rig using uh, SEX 10-2 for the chassis. I'm going to go with an RC four wheel drive uh, blazer body and I'm going to use all the shrink RC. He hooked me up with all the parts to make this possible. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a bench seat or the bucket, but I have the trans raise part, you know, for the three gear transmission. You need this specific part. I have his body mounts to mount that body that I'm making into the truck. So it's actually to mount the truck to the 10-2 chassis. Um, going to be going with some 155 SSD wheels. I got the SSD hubs. 
some trail brass hexes, SSD front shocks. We're going to go with a Reefs Raw 500, uh, my favorite all around reef servo. Uh, I'm going to try out the new 60 amp 2300 kV Hobby Wing Fusion Pro 2 in 1. Um, I run a lot of water and mud, so this is going to be really great for that. I've had no issues with any of the other hobby wings I have, so I figured I'd give the new one a try and get some more wheel speed. Um, there's the paint colors. That's as close as I can get to this color. I didn't want to use the exact color I used on this because it kind of scratches easy, and I wanted something a little bit more durable for the 10th scale. So we're going to try out the Kryolon, see how it ends up being. I got a k k stainless hardware kit you gotta have that and i run a lot of mud and water like i say and that is something that is very very important to have unless you want to change rusty hardware later on i'm going to be running a set of narrow super scale 155 super swampers from rc four wheel drive um, i have this x speed cantilever whole complete kit it's a very nice kit. Got it off of uh, eBay. And it comes with everything you need. And it's got everything's metal too. The shocks are really heavy duty. Like huge, huge shafts. I'm not going to be worried about bending them up. And they were the only ones I could find in black. All the other cantilevers were red. I mean, who wants to put red shocks on of a scale truck? You know, it just doesn't look right. So... This is going to be the next project. I'm looking forward to jumping into it. We're going to probably start off and build the chassis. It'll be the next video. I'll build the chassis. Maybe install the electronics on it. And then uh, following video, we will chop up the body and uh, start assembling all the shrink RC parts onto it. And then we'll get it into paint and eventually join the two together and see if we can make the 10 scale look pretty close to the 124 scale that everybody seems to love of mine so stay tuned and if you ain't got yourself one of these awesome reefs pit mats i suggest you getting one very awesome stuff till next time